Hi there, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? Today, f after a long time, actually, I'm going to upload a video which I intended to do many years back, okay? I used to have this fragrance and I thought I did a review and I sold off my bottle. I was like, what the heck, you know? <laughs> and I realized I never really reviewed it, you know? That fragrance is going to be uh, review today. Thank God for that. I finally got it. I paid a little bit more price on this, 1881 by Seruti. Okay, this fragrance for men. Okay, Purom. They have multiple versions of it, fresh or summer or uh, EDP intense, many other versions. But this is the OG. This is a fragrance bottle you'll see in many places. This fragrance, it's like still a classic. If you like David of Cool Water, Versace Lom, you know, CK1, a lot of these fragrances that already have that Hall of Famer. This is one of the fragrances, very big. And I did review some from Boucheron. They, sort of like Bushan Puram and this one is very close. Uh, check out my, I'll leave a link below of Bushan Puram review. This is similar to that. If you like um, Fougier, Barbershop, in a way, yeah, it's a Barbershop, but it has its own type. So recent times, let me tell you before I review this, recent times I actually found a new love for Barbershop. I used to own some, but back in the days I didn't really like uh, fragrance like Reef Kosh. I didn't understand that complexity because you need match your nose. Okay, honestly speaking, you cannot uh, right away. If you fall in love, good for you. You know, you, you more power to you. But in general, uh, most of the barber shop that have Fougier Lavender, just give me one second. Yeah, sorry for the interruption. Uh, going back to what I was saying, uh, when I started off my journey, you know, like that time, you know, I really like citruses a lot more. Like my thing was citrus, sweet fragrance after that. Then I started using some of the more complex, you know, like old school classic. But after a certain time, I really appreciated, understood the complexity of powerhouse, then barbershop fragrances. So this fragrance, when I had it, let me tell you very honestly, I did not enjoy it so much. You know, I used sometimes, but I didn't feel like I was the right um, age. Uh, not say age, perhaps I had the age, but I didn't really was, I didn't really uh, feel, you know, like I was ready for barbershop. This fragrance right here is a true classic. Nowadays, I appreciate it. It's very simple fragrance. Here, they also have female version. Uh, this is the box, 100 ml. They have multiple bottles, like 30, 50, and 100, I believe, or maybe more. This is how that looks. Um, this fragrance, like, you know, it's when I bought it for my first bottle, it was very affordable, like $30. Now, the retail on this is like around really expensive, uh, over $60, $70. I paid, I think, recent times, uh, $45 for it, which is a little bit more pricey than what I remember. But, you know, sentiments don't have a <laughs> price tag. So here you go. Beautiful little bottle here. I really, really love this bottle. This one is this frosted uh, glass, which feels like kind of icy. And front, it says 1881. At the back also feels the same. This fragrance has been reviewed many times by many reviewers, but it's my pleasure. It's my honor to do this review. And the cap looks like a little bit like Aramis House. There's a Aramis right there, you know, Aramis Tobacco Reserve. Uh, and then the side, it, it's kind of see-through. It's kind of got this mild yellow greenish juice color and you get the base, you get the sticker. So cap is kind of like light as far as I remember. Yes, it's plasticky and it's kind of like snug fit. It doesn't really click onto place, but you can pick it up. Bottle is not so heavy. Distribution is very beautiful. Check this out. Okay, it shoots really far. Okay, I think uh, let me sp let me spray some on my palm. This perfume, uh, let me tell you, age range. Usually, I don't like to put an age range over fragrance. Anybody can wear anything, but this one feels like a little bit mature. I saw one guy on Fragrantica said, guys, this is not for everybody. This is not for beginners. This is not for youth or teenagers, but don't take it off the shelf because it smells so good. Okay. And absolutely agree. It's a mature man's fragrance. Definitely. When you smell it, you'll not really feel first thing that comes to your mind is like, wow, Dior Sauvage Dylan Blue ish modern trend. This smells like it's from past time. Definitely. It's not from this uh, era. I definitely has seen the days where your father worn it or your elder brother, uncles worn it. This feels like a mature fragrance. Think of Chanel Pumo CEO or uh, Zino Davidoff, okay? Fragrances nowadays, it's coming back. This kind of Fougier barbershop like Boudé Jour by Tom Ford, uh, the new version, it came out. And I think the Boucheron Purom is the one that is closest to that, but there are differences between that and this. So when I spray this for the first time, I really feel the performance, it's not beast mode. It's like three hours and a half, then it goes away. It's very close to your skin. So performance is on the... Uh, I would say it's not really poor, like CK1 goes away one hour. This one doesn't do that. This one definitely holds on like three and a half hours. So it's moderate to okay, like 
average you can say average longevity projection is when you spray it for the first time it does project for really well for 25 to 30 minutes after that it's kind of close to you and you can wear um, i would say uh, optimum uh, sprays for this are five to six sprays it will be decent for half a day or less than half a day you know four hours is not really <laughs> you know half a day but if you have an atomizer you can refresh in the middle of the day it will cover your office work okay so this one the age range is mature longevity is moderate seasons spring and summer very refreshing fragrance starts with very beautiful citrusy note and the thing is if you are not really used to this kind of fragrance you will not pick up the citrus first thing you'll get is something like a floral like a galbanum you know something like a green herbaceous little bit uh scary opening you know this one i don't know like uh, i don't have the notes break down here but as far as i remember they are kind of like a musky dry down okay this one has some uh green vibe and there's a lavender fuchsia definite floral and uh fragrance feels uh, kind of like a very cozy at the same time sweet okay this these are the things that i get from this fragrance uh, after the citrus goes away the opening citrus will stay for 10 minutes perhaps then starts slowly start showing that lavender fougere barbershop style but uh, <clears throat> do not be scared if you are scared of busher and purim that one is like old school like old spice kind of spices this one i do not detect any spices so in that way it's very good even compared to versace loam there's no leather in this one so every single uh, for me uh, observation is every single uh, barber shop or powerhouse have their own distinctive criteria or characteristic this one for me is a beautiful uh, think of closest thing in my humble opinion is i think ysl jazz or live jazz one of those fragrances have this kind of like a nice little cooling you know sort of like a uh, like a masculine vibe at the same time it's not really like animalic there's no civet there's no you know those uh, stinky uh, notes this one is not in there so it's pretty much in the fresh almost the fresh genre just that uh, barbershop vibe or like a little bit of that vibe comes up because of the lavender uh, the fragrance one other thing about this fragrance moment you know it starts growing on like you you'll start enjoying this kind of fragrance kind of like this mossy you know i have reviewed many of this type of perfumes this one you have to be very patient with this kind of fragrances okay you cannot judge it within one week you spray like you decide you don't like you sell off a bottle after two three sprays that's gonna be a huge uh, regret i regretted it i do want to review more from this house now i own it i'm very happy see after many six seven years i love it um, so these are kind of fragrance you cannot put a price tag on the emotion this fragrance is uh, to do with many men many many gentlemen out there who have great memories of this perfume perhaps you had a vintage version these are more modern don't know but i really like the beautiful bottle here and these are kind of fragrances that should get more talk and reviews from reviewers uh, not just the niche uber niche stuff or latest uh, flanker releases you know this is what makes me a little bit sad people don't talk about good fragrances you know i don't see this appear in many people's reviews but some gentlemen from uk perhaps or some of the og reviewers okay so 1821 uh, seruti you know uh, i will say this is kind of fragrance you don't have to have okay this is not a must have perfume but at least once in your journey give it a try okay this one perhaps will remind you of your father if you like fragrances like a uh, brute you know this one reminds me of that you know if you want to get a budget version of say somewhat boudoir jour by tom ford or something like uh, you know burning barber shop very expensive you know they have uh, the barbers you know by replica mason martin margiela you're gonna spend like what 15 like 150 dollars upwards 250 dollars and then you know if you find a fragrance that is really you like but you paid already so much money if you can score this in states i think it will not be more than 25 30 dollars you know and this kind of fragrances if you can appreciate those why not appreciate this okay so full respect to this fragrance i just want to pay homage or homage how you say it or to this perfume this has massive respect for me you know like i'm just so happy i have this perfume this is as big as many other niche perfumes in my journey right so 1881 the seruti not 1821 sweet tobacco spirit this perfume right here it's really lovely this one's for mature crowd if you want to give you something to your dad or you want don't have so much cash or budget and if you like this kind of green aromatic fougere with kind of hint of citrus and sweet notes give it a try that is an excellent nice perfume for uh, lazy weekends for sure you know like even if holidays excellent perfume thank you very much for watching time to move on to the second review have a nice day